So once you have finely tuned your mix many times, uh, this will just be enough to just, uh, just set it and forget it. But there may be times when you want to maybe uh, drop down some instruments at a certain point in time or maybe echo just a word or two over the others. For any of these scenarios, we need to have a mix sheet that has maybe some of these notes that you write down what to do at a certain time. Make up a mix sheet in Excel that will help you create notes to prompt you while you're mixing down. Now, if you're lucky enough to have a, a, a recorder that has automation, then you can record all of your changes with, within your mix down so that you can record them once and those changes will happen uh, automatically on mix down. It's really a great way to go as it's like having a million hands at mix down with no uh, missed uh, changes. That is why I really recommend having a hybrid uh, hardware software solution because you know there's nothing like the ease with recording uh, with hardware, right? You, you have all of the transport buttons right there and you can take that recorder anywhere. But at mix down, you know, software is really, really great. You have basically unlimited effects and most of the time uh, you have automation as well. Now, the actual process of doing this, uh, this actual mix down will be different depending on what product uh, you use. You normally have to go into some sort of uh, mix down mode. I know that uh, with some products they could, might call it pre-master, just look in your manual underneath mix down and you'll see the actual buttons to press. But basically, we're just kind of like, it's really like bouncing the output of all of your tracks with all of their EQ, all of effects right down onto a single stereo uh, file. Now, if you're adept at using computers, there are a few audio analysis uh, solutions that, that really can make visualizing your mix in terms of how each part of your mix is coming together uh, across the tonal spectrum really, really easy. It's actually pretty cool to see the, the tonal fingerprint of your mix and how that's shaping up and perhaps where you're getting a little bit too much congestion. Here's a demo of uh, an analysis tool that I really like. This video is intended to give you a quick run through some of the features of the new Gen Audio Visualizer plugin. The user interface is available in two sizes. You can switch between these in real time using the double ended arrow button at the top of the interface. The compact size allows you to keep an eye on the various analysis views without taking up too much pressure screen space. All the visualizer options are available in both compact and expanded modes. Visualizer is capable of displaying many different audio analysis views. You can switch these views on and off using the view selector controls down the right hand side of the interface. As you do so, Visualizer will automatically resize the contents of the graphical display area to best represent the information you require. Many views allow you to zoom and scroll to examine specific areas in more detail. Any point in time can be captured using the snapshot memories, which are full data sets, not merely screen captures. This means that you can zoom and scroll a snapshot, or even examine views which were not active at the point of capture. The link function is used to allow the same parameter to be adjusted across many views at once. In this case, with link on, we can zoom both the spectrum analyzer and the spectrogram views together. Or switching off the link, we can adjust them independently. All of the views have numerous individual control parameters, which can be accessed using the control tab selectors. Let's take a deeper look at some of the parameters available in each view. Beginning with the level meter, at the top, have a drop-down menu of several useful presets. If the exact specification you require is not immediately available, many parameters can be individually adjusted as a custom setter. The level meter can be viewed either horizontally or vertically. The spectrum analyzer views allow several different banding options, which can be selected independently by deactivating the link function. The Spectrum Analyzer views can also take advantage of the Snapshot Overlay function to compare two sets of data at the same time. If we turn on the Tone option on the Stats and Setup tab, we can use the right-click mouse action to generate a reference tone at 
the level and frequency of the mouse cursor. Now, let's take a look at the spectrogram views. As well as allowing scroll and zoom, you can also slide the colour banding against the decibel scale to suit the material you are investigating. You can choose from a selection of bands with both smooth and sharp transitions to best display the audio in question. The scope view comes in two modes, Lissajuice or oscilloscope mode and polar mode selected using the drop-down menu. In Lissajuice mode, you can select the Auto Zoom option to display the data for quiet sections of audio clearly, or leave it off for a level relative comparison. The Polar View also features a left-right stereo balance meter with both rapid and longer term averaging bars. Moving on to the correlation meter, the most obvious feature is the history control. This allows you to switch off the history trail to preserve screen space for the other views, or switch it in if you want to examine the correlation flow in more detail. You can also adjust the colour of the rapid correlation haze to highlight zones of interest. Finally, we have the stats and setup tab. Here you will find several settings for optimising the way Visualizer responds to your audio. There's also a clip counter, which runs in the background, even if the tab is closed. And that concludes this run through the Visualizer interface. A full Visualizer demo is available from newgenaudio.com, where you can also find other documents and video guides to help inspire your audio production.